Liv Ullman, a legendary actress, director, and screenwriter, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Born in Tokyo to Norwegian parents, Ullman began her acting career in the late 1950s and quickly gained recognition for her natural talent and emotional depth. Throughout her career, Ullman has worked with some of the most renowned directors in the industry, including Ingmar Bergman, with whom she collaborated on several groundbreaking films, such as Persona and Cries and Whispers. Her performances in these films showcased her incredible range and versatility, earning her numerous accolades and critical acclaim. In addition to her work as an actress, Ullman has also made significant contributions to the world of directing and screenwriting. Her directorial debut, Faithless, was based on a screenplay by Bergman and received widespread praise for its powerful storytelling and nuanced performances. Ullman's accomplishments extend beyond the screen as she has also been a passionate advocate for women's rights and humanitarian causes throughout her career. She has served as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador since 2004 and has worked tirelessly to promote children's rights and education around the world. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles throughout her career, Liv Ullman has remained a steadfast and inspiring figure in the world of cinema. Her contributions to the industry and her advocacy for important social issues have left a lasting impact that continues to resonate with audiences today. Liv Ullman is a legendary actress known for her work in films like Persona and The Immigrants. With a career spanning over five decades, she has become an enduring symbol of the film industry. Her nuanced and powerful performances have captivated audiences and left a lasting impact. We want to know, what do you believe is the defining moment in Liv Ullman's career? Was it her groundbreaking role in Persona, or perhaps her Oscar-nominated performance in The Immigrants? Let us know in the comments below. What do you think makes Liv Ullman's work so enduring? Is it her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and grace? Or is it her willingness to take on challenging and unconventional roles? We would love to hear your thoughts. Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience related to Liv Ullman's work? Maybe you saw one of her films in the theater, or perhaps you've been inspired by her in your own life. Share your stories with us in the comments below. And stay tuned, because we'll be sharing some fun, shocking, and sad facts about Liv Ullman's life and career. You won't want to miss it. Liv Ullman, born in Tokyo to Norwegian parents, spent her early years moving frequently due to her father's work as an aircraft engineer. This transient lifestyle exposed her to various cultures and languages, enriching her perspective from a young age. Her father's sudden passing when she was just six deeply affected her, instilling a sense of seriousness and depth in her character. Ullman's mother played a pivotal role in her life, encouraging her to pursue acting, a passion that was evident even in her early performances at school. The support and guidance from her mother, coupled with the cultural diversity she experienced, laid the foundation for her future in acting. Her journey into the world of cinema began in earnest when she moved to Canada for further studies, where she was able to immerse herself in her craft and hone her skills. Liv Ullman was born on December 16, 1938, in Tokyo, Japan, to Norwegian parents. Her father was a diplomat, and the family moved around a lot during her childhood. Ullman spent her early years in Japan, Canada, and the United States before settling in Norway. Ullman's interest in acting began during her time at the National Theatre School in Oslo. She started her career in the early 1960s though, and gained international recognition for her work with Swedish director Ingmar Bergman. Ullman appeared in several of Bergman's films, including Persona, Cries, and Whispers, and Autumn Sonata. Ullman's career has spanned over five decades, and she has worked in theater, film, and television. She has received numerous awards and nominations for her work, including two Academy Award nominations for Best Actress. In addition to her acting career, Ullman is also a director, writer, and humanitarian. She has directed several films, including Faithless, which was written by Bergman. Ullman is also a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and has been involved in various humanitarian causes throughout her career. Ullman's early life experiences, including her nomadic childhood and exposure to different cultures, have influenced her career. Her work with Bergman has also had a significant impact on her career and she has become known for her nuanced and powerful performances. Overall, Liv Ullman's background and early life experiences have shaped her career as an accomplished actress, director, and humanitarian. 
Liv Ullman, the acclaimed Norwegian actress, discovered her passion for acting during her childhood. She was an introverted child who found solace in books and stories. At the age of 15, she saw a local production of Henrik Ibsen's play A Doll's House and was deeply moved by the performance of the lead actress. This experience sparked her interest in acting and she decided to pursue it as a career. Ullman's desire to become an actress was further fueled when she attended a drama school in Oslo. There, she honed her acting skills and developed a deep understanding of the craft. She was particularly drawn to the works of Ibsen and August Strindberg and their exploration of complex human emotions and relationships. Ullman's big break came when she was discovered by Swedish director Ingmar Bergman. He was impressed by her talent and cast her in several of his films, including Persona and Cries and Whispers. These collaborations with Bergman not only brought her international fame, but also solidified her passion for acting. Throughout her career, Ullman has been known for her powerful and nuanced performances, as well as her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. She has often spoken about her love for the craft of acting and her belief in its ability to inspire empathy and understanding in audiences. In conclusion, Liv Ullman discovered her passion for acting at a young age and has pursued it with dedication and commitment throughout her career. From her early experiences with drama school to her collaborations with Ingmar Bergman, she has continually sought to deepen her understanding of the craft and to bring nuanced and powerful performances to the screen. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, is known for her collaborations with director Ingmar Bergman and cinematographer Sven Nyqvist. In the film The Serpent's Egg, Ullman portrayed Manuela Rosenberg, showcasing her acting prowess. Despite her successful career, Ullman has simple tastes and enjoys watching regular TV shows like Sex in the City and Everybody Loves Raymond. She owns a cottage on a cliff overlooking a fjord in Norway, where she finds solace and enjoys the beauty of nature. Ullman's life is a testament to the fact that success and simplicity can coexist. She has made a significant mark in the world of acting, yet she cherishes the simple pleasures of life. Her story is an inspiration to many, reminding us that success is not measured by material possessions, but by the impact we make on others' lives. Liv Ullman, the celebrated Swedish actress, faced numerous challenges in her early career. Born in 1938, she grew up in a time when women's roles in the film industry were limited. Financial struggles were also a constant hurdle for Ullman. She once said in an interview that she had to borrow money to buy her acting school application form. Despite these obstacles, Ullman's resilience and determination shone through. She found creative solutions to overcome her financial struggles, such as taking on various jobs to support herself while pursuing her acting dreams. Her talent and hard work eventually paid off when she was discovered by the renowned filmmaker, Ingmar Bergman. Industry skepticism was another challenge Ullman faced. As a newcomer, she had to prove herself in a male-dominated industry. However, she never let this discourage her. Instead, she used it as motivation to work harder and perfect her craft. Ullman's unwavering dedication and passion for acting earned her respect and recognition in the industry. Ullman's story is a testament to the power of resilience and determination. Despite facing numerous obstacles, she never gave up on her dreams. Her creative solutions and unwavering dedication to her craft helped her overcome industry skepticism and financial struggles, ultimately leading to a successful and fulfilling career. Liv Ullman, known for her acting skills, is also the mother-in-law of writer Niels Frederick Dahl. Her role as Kate Turhorst in the film A Bridge Too Far is notable because it involved a reenactment similar to One in the Longest Day, where real-life events were brought to the screen. Audrey Hepburn was initially chosen for Ullman's part, but had to step down due to high salary demands. Interestingly, Hepburn had a personal connection to the story, having lived through the war in Arnhem, the setting of the film. In Lost Horizon, Ullman played Catherine, sharing the screen with a talented cast, including Oscar winners and nominees. Her performances have left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Liv Ullman, a prominent Norwegian actress, gained international recognition through her collaborations with Swedish director Ingmar Bergman. Their first film together, Persona, marked a breakthrough for Ullman, with her emotionally intense performance leaving a lasting impression on critics and audiences alike. 
In the following years, Ullman starred in several more Bergman films, including Cries and Whispers and Autumn Sonata. These roles solidified her status as a powerful and expressive actress capable of portraying complex and nuanced characters. Ullman's work in The Immigrants and The New Land, a pair of films directed by Jan Troll, earned her further acclaim. Her portrayal of a Swedish immigrant in the United States resonated with audiences and demonstrated her versatility as an actress. Throughout her career, Ullman has been praised for her ability to convey deep emotions and inner turmoil through her performances. Her work has had a significant impact on the world of cinema, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers. In addition to her acting career, Ullman has also directed films and plays, further showcasing her talents and contributions to the arts. Her breakthrough moments have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema, and her work continues to be celebrated and studied by film enthusiasts and scholars alike. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, shares a daughter, Lynn Ullman, with her frequent collaborator and writer-director, Ingmar Bergman. One of Ullman's notable film roles was in Lost Horizon, where she played Catherine. Interestingly, professional vocalist Jerry Whitman and Diana Lee provided the singing voices for Peter Finch and Ullman, respectively. The film also inspired Bette Midler's famous quip, I never miss a Liv Ullman musical. This anecdote highlights Ullman's significant contributions to the film and music industries. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, is known for her unique approach to her work. She has a deep commitment to authenticity and often chooses roles that explore complex emotional landscapes. Ullman's artistic process is characterized by thorough preparation and a focus on character development. She immerses herself in the world of the character, researching their background and motivations to deliver a nuanced and compelling performance. Ullman's personal experiences and worldview are often reflected in her work. She has been open about her struggles with depression and has used her platform to raise awareness about mental health. Many of her roles explore themes of isolation, vulnerability, and resilience, which may be informed by her own experiences. One of Ullman's most notable collaborations is with director Ingmar Bergman. Their work together, including Persona and Cries and Whispers, is characterized by its intense emotionality and psychological depth. Ullman's performances in these films are widely regarded as some of her most powerful and enduring work. Ullman's approach to acting is rooted in her belief in the transformative power of art. She sees her work as a way to connect with audiences and to explore the human condition. Her unique style and commitment to authenticity have made her one of the most respected actresses of her generation. Liv Ullman's career has been celebrated and honored through various recognitions. She had a special day dedicated to her film work by Turner Classic Movies in 2019. Her contributions to the arts have been acknowledged by the Norwegian royalty with honors such as Knight, Commander, and Commander with Star of the Royal Norwegian Order of St. Olav, reflecting her significant role in film and culture. Additionally, her image graced the cover of the Ocean Blues album, See the Ocean Blue, showcasing her influence beyond cinema. Liv Ullman, a renowned Swedish actress, significantly contributed to the film industry, particularly through her collaborations with director Ingmar Bergman. Her natural and minimalistic acting style diverged from the norm, influencing many actors who followed. Ullman's ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety was groundbreaking. According to film critic Roger Ebert, Ullman's face is a canvas that registers the subtlest emotions. This technique influenced a more naturalistic approach to acting in films. Her characters often embodied strong, independent women, challenging societal norms of the time. This portrayal inspired many actresses, including Julian Moore, who admired Ullman's incredible emotional intelligence. Ullman also directed films, further expanding her influence. Her directorial debut, Miss Julie, was praised for its sensitive portrayal of complex relationships. Director Jane Campion admired Ullman's directorial work, stating, she has a wonderful understanding of actors and performance. In addition to her acting and directing, Ullman has been a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador since 1988, using her platform to advocate for children's rights. This humanitarian work has also had a significant impact, inspiring many in the industry to use their influence for positive change. In summary, Liv Ullman's acting technique, strong and independent character portrayals, directorial work, and humanitarian efforts have greatly influenced the film industry 
and continue to inspire actors and filmmakers today. Liv Ullman was invited to guest star in the final episodes of the popular TV series Sex and the City set in Paris. Initially, she was thrilled as she and her husband were fans of the show. However, upon receiving the script, she felt she wasn't suitable for the role and decided to withdraw. In 1982, Ullman starred in The Night Visitor alongside Max von Sydow, reuniting the Swedish leads of three Ingmar Bergman films from 1968-1969 Hour of the Wolf, Chain, and The Passion of Anna. Ullman also served on the official competition jury at the 31st Cannes International Film Festival in 1978, showcasing her significance in the film industry. Liv Ullman, the renowned Norwegian actress, is known for her work in films like Persona and The Immigrants but her life extends beyond the silver screen. She values her family and has been open about the challenges of being a working mother in the past. Ullman is also passionate about women's rights and has been a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador since 1982. She has used her platform to advocate for children's rights and has been involved in numerous humanitarian efforts, including raising awareness about the impact of war on children. Her personal values and interests often intertwine with her work as she frequently chooses roles that highlight social issues and women's stories. Allman's philanthropic efforts reflect her dedication to making a positive impact on the world. Liv Allman's portrayal of Kate Turvorst in the film A Bridge Too Far is noteworthy. Despite learning her lines phonetically, her performance was impactful, with the exception of her just one hour of rest speech, which required the addition of subtitles for Dutch audiences, in 2006, Ullman's performance as Elizabeth Vogler in the film Persona was ranked as one of the greatest performances of all time by Premier Magazine. Experiencing loss at a young age, Ullman's father died during a brain operation when she was only six years old. This early hardship may have contributed to her depth as an actress. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her natural and authentic acting style has captivated audiences for decades. She has been a pioneer for women in film, breaking barriers and paving the way for future generations. Ullman's collaborations with director Ingmar Bergman are particularly noteworthy as they created some of the most memorable and thought-provoking films in cinema history. Her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and grace has earned her critical acclaim and the admiration of her peers. As for the future, Ullman continues to inspire and mentor aspiring actors. She advises them to stay true to themselves and not be afraid to take risks. She believes that the most important thing is to have a deep passion for the craft and to never stop learning. Allman also emphasizes the importance of staying grounded and not getting caught up in the glamour and fame that can come with the industry. She encourages young actors to be kind, respectful, and humble, and to always treat others with dignity and compassion. In short, Liv Ullman's legacy is one of authenticity, passion, and grace. Her future contributions will undoubtedly continue to inspire and influence the film industry for years to come. Aspiring actors can learn a great deal from her wisdom and experience and would do well to follow her advice as they embark on their own journeys in the world of acting. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, has had a significant impact in the film industry. As of 2018, she has starred in two films that were nominated for Best Picture Oscar, The Emigrants in 1971 and Cries and Whispers in 1972. Ullman's acting talent has also influenced pop culture, as B.B. Buell named her daughter Liv Tyler after seeing Ullman's picture on a magazine cover the week she gave birth. Ullman's career is marked by her thoughtful approach to roles, as she once turned down the part of Kate Miller in Dress to Kill due to the violent theme and having a young daughter at the time. Despite this, she has left an indelible mark in the film industry and her work continues to resonate with audiences today. Liv Ullman, an actress of immense passion and innovation, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning over five decades, she has consistently delivered compelling and thought-provoking performances, captivating audiences worldwide. Born in Tokyo and raised in Norway, Ullman's journey in the entertainment industry began in the early 1960s. She quickly gained recognition for her work, collaborating with acclaimed director Ingmar Bergman in several films, including Persona and Cry and Whispers. These collaborations not only solidified her status as a talented actress, but also allowed her to explore the depths of human emotion and psychology. 
Ullman's innovative approach to acting extended beyond her work with Bergman. She tackled a diverse range of roles, from period dramas to contemporary pieces, always bringing a unique perspective and depth to her characters. Her performances resonated with audiences, allowing them to see the world through fresh eyes. Throughout her career, Ullman has been a trailblazer for women in the entertainment industry. She has used her platform to advocate for gender equality and has been a vocal supporter of women's rights. Her passion for social justice has only added to her enduring impact on the industry. In addition to her work as an actress, Ullman has also directed several films, further showcasing her creativity and innovation. Her directorial debut, Sophie, was a critical success, earning her numerous accolades and solidifying her status as a multi-talented artist. Ullman's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. Her work has transcended generations, inspiring countless actors and directors to push the boundaries of their craft. Her passion, creativity, and perseverance serve as a reminder of the power of art to challenge, inspire, and transform. In conclusion, Liv Ullman's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her enduring impact is a reminder that art has the power to change the world, one performance at a time. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, is known for her remarkable performances in foreign language films. She grew up and studied in Trondheim, Norway, before becoming one of the six performers with multiple Oscar nominations in this category. Ullman was nominated for her work in The Immigrants and Face to Face, both Swedish films. In The Night Visitor, Ullman starred as Esther Jenks alongside fellow Oscar nominees Max von Sydow, Trevor Howard. Her portrayal of Esther Jenks showcased her exceptional acting skills and solidified her position as a prominent figure in world cinema. Ullman's accomplishments in foreign language films are particularly noteworthy when considering the other performers who have achieved similar success. These include Marcello Mastroini, Sophia Loren, Isabella Gianni, Javier Bardem, and Marion Cotillard. Ullman's ability to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression on viewers and industry professionals alike is a testament to her enduring impact on the world of film. Throughout her career, Ullman has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances, making her a cherished figure in the tapestry of cinematic history. Her contributions to the field of foreign language films have resonated with audiences and left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Liv Ullman, an accomplished actress, is known for her name, which means life in Norwegian in Swedish. In the film Pope Joan, she played Jeremy Kent's daughter, despite being less than four years his junior in real life. In The Serpent's Egg, Ullman, the only Scandinavian actor in the lead cast, portrayed Manuela Rosenberg. Her natural talent and commitment to her roles have solidified her place as a respected figure in the film industry. Liv Ullman's talent shone brightly on Broadway, earning her Tony Award nominations for her roles in A Doll's House and Anna Christie. Her collaboration with director Ingmar Bergman resulted in a series of memorable films, including The Serpent's Egg, where she played Manuela Rosenberg. This partnership produced 10 films, showcasing a wide range of human emotions and stories. Additionally, Ullman's portrayal of Kate Turhorst in A Bridge Too Far connected her once again with actors Maximilian Schell and Jeremy Kemp, with whom she shared the screen in Pope Joan. Her performances have left a lasting impression on audiences and the film industry alike. Liv Ullman held star billing in the 1977 film The Serpent's Egg, with David Carradine receiving second billing and Gert Furr, third. In 1984, Ullman was appointed as the head of the official competition jury at the 34th Berlin International Film Festival. She shared the screen with Maximilian Schell in four films Pope Joan, A Bridge Too Far, Players, and The Rose Garden. Their on-screen partnership proved to be a successful one throughout the years. Liv Ullman, a renowned Norwegian actress, is known for her work with Swedish filmmaker Ingmar Bergman. Despite being mistaken for a Swede outside of Scandinavia, Ullman takes it in stride, acknowledging the frequent collaboration between Swedish and Norwegian artists in the film industry. One notable fact about Ullman is that she claims to be the only actress of Bergman's who hasn't fallen in love with Erlen Josephson, another frequent collaborator of the director. Ullman also turned down a role in the final episodes of Sex and The City, explaining that she didn't want to disappoint the producers who might have expected a more youthful appearance. She was a fan of the show and expressed her admiration for it, but ultimately decided not to take the part. 
Despite this, Allman's career has been marked by numerous accolades and achievements, including serving as the jury president at the 2001 Cannes Film Festival. However, her nationality was mistakenly listed as Swedish on the festival's website, highlighting the common misconception about her origins. In the world of film, Liv Ullman is a well-known name, having had a successful career as an actress. In 1969, she starred in the film The Night Visitor alongside Max von Sydow, after they both became available following the cancellation of Man's Fate by MGM. Ullman is not only known for her work in film, but also for her appearance on a Norwegian celebrity game show. During her appearance, she shared a humorous story about accidentally washing her cat in the washing machine, stopping it just in time. Furthermore, Ullman's name and reputation were referenced in the 1981 film SOB as motivation for Julie Andrews' character to do a partial nude scene. This reference highlights Ullman's influence and impact in the film industry. Overall, Liv Ullman's career and personal anecdotes have left a lasting impression on the film industry and those who have worked with her. Liv Ullman, a prominent figure in the film industry, has shared the screen with eight Oscar winners and five Oscar nominees in the movie A Bridge Too Far. She played the role of Kate Turhorst in this star-studded film. In 2001, Ullman took on a new role as the president of the official competition jury at the 54th Cannes International Film Festival, demonstrating her influence and respect within the film community. Ullman is particularly known for her collaborations with Ingmar Bergman. They worked together on 10 films, including Face to Face, Autumn Sonata, and Persona. Their partnership resulted in a significant body of work that explored complex human emotions and relationships. Some of their other collaborations include Saraband, Scenes from a Marriage, and Cries and Whispers. These films delved into themes of marriage, family, and personal identity, leaving a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. Their final film together, Saraband, was made over three decades after their initial collaboration, showcasing the enduring nature of their creative partnership. Liv Ullman, the renowned Swedish actress, is known for her powerful and moving performances. However, few people know about the tragic loss she experienced in her personal life. Ullman's daughter, Lynn Ullman, wrote in her memoir about how her sister, Sarah, died at the young age of six due to a sudden illness. This heartbreaking event had a profound impact on Liv Ullman and her family, and it is a reminder of the fragility of life. Despite this tragedy, Liv Ullman continued to pursue her acting career and became one of the most celebrated actresses of her time. She worked closely with the legendary filmmaker Ingmar Bergman and appeared in many of his films, including Persona and Cries and Whispers. Ullman's performances in these films are widely regarded as some of the most powerful and emotionally raw in the history of cinema. Ullman's acting style is characterized by her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance. She has a unique ability to draw the audience into her world and make them feel a deep connection to her characters. This is evident in her performance in Scenes from a Marriage, where she plays a woman going through a painful divorce. Ullman's portrayal of this character's struggles and emotions is incredibly moving and has resonated with audiences for decades. In addition to her work in film, Liv Ullman has also had a successful career in theater and television. She has won numerous awards for her acting, including several Golden Globe nominations and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a miniseries or motion picture made for television for her role in A Little Night Music. Ullman has also directed several films and plays, including Faithless, which was written by Ingmar Bergman. Her directorial style is similar to her acting style, characterized by a focus on emotional depth and complexity. Throughout her long and distinguished career, Liv Ullman has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema and theater. Her powerful and moving performances have touched the hearts of millions of people around the world, and her legacy as an actress and director will endure for generations to come. If you're a fan of Liv Ullman's work, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Her contributions to the world of acting are truly special. From her collaborations with iconic director Ingmar Bergman to her powerful performances in films like Persona and The Emigrants, Ullman has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Whether you've admired her work for years or are just discovering her talent, we encourage you to share your reflections with our community. Your likes, shares, and subscriptions help us continue to celebrate the creative spirits who shape the entertainment we love. 
Let's take a moment to appreciate Liv Ullman's legacy and the impact she's had on film and theater. Her ability to bring complex characters to life has captivated audiences for generations, and her work will surely continue to resonate for years to come. So, don't be shy, share your thoughts on Liv Ullman's impressive career and legacy in the comments below. And, as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the artists who make entertainment so meaningful.